at this X-Wing! I printed this on the Ultracraft Reflex RS 3D printer out of resin, and it looks stupendous. Like, so, so good. And I, and I wanna to talk to you about it and this machine, and I just wanna show you some really cool stuff, so let's do it. Where are my manners? Welcome to 3D Printing Nerd Studios, of course, proudly powered by PCB Way, 8% off, link in the description. It's like free money. You've seen Hay Gears on the channel before. In fact, the previous version of this machine, the Ultracraft Reflex, was something that I showcased on a bunch of different models and they turned out really good. And it's neat to see a company take what they have and increase the build volume, shrink the size and offer it for less money. That sounds good, I'll have that. We'll get into that, but first let's talk about this friggin' X-Wing. This was found over on Printables by user Rusty Fuzzdoor. My producer David, he emailed me a few models that he wanted to see, and one of them was this X-Wing. One of the things I was worried about when printing the X-Wing were these parts of the S-foils. Now, in this position, they look friggin' cool, but also, they're just long and thin. And when we print long and thin in resin, and then we have to wash it and cure it, there's a high likelihood that these can get deformed. And so I printed it on this machine, and when I got it out, it looked good. Like the support looked good. So I, I got it off the build plate, and I put it in the washer, and it hooled it around to clean it. And then I took it out. I kept the support on. Now, when you have a model with details like this, you sometimes want to keep the support on because it's going to stabilize that model in an environment where there's UV and possibly heat to cure the material. So that's what I did there. And then I got it out and I was able to get the supports off, no problem. And those are perfect, like absolutely perfect. And I love the heck out of them. Oh, this is so cool. This is so cool. Producer David's a Star Wars fan. I'm a Star Wars fan. You might be a Star Wars fan. I will put a link to this model down in the description because you're gonna wanna print this yourself. This is, this is nice. Again, it was made with this machine, the Ultracraft Reflex RS. The RS stands for really stupendous. No, it stands for Rapid Shaper and its ability to print things really fast. It has an average layer time of 4.5 seconds, which gets you models pretty quick. And compared to the previous machine, the outside packaging, its total footprint is smaller but the build volume is larger. And that build volume is 222.3 millimeters on X, it's 122.5 millimeters on Y, and it's 230 millimeters on Z or Z. Building models within that volume is a 10.3 inch 8K mono LCD, and under that is a 405 nanometer light source. Now the previous version did have a 385 nanometer light source, this one 405. A lot of us within hobby level resin 3D printing recognize that 405 nanometer light source because it's what a lot of the consumer resins cure with. Oh, one of the things you might notice up there, there's some discoloration, some scarring. When I originally took the X-Wing out, I didn't account for the resin that was at the top of the build plate. Remember, this is leveled. You move the feet around and you get it in position and then you level it on two planes because you want the resin to pour correctly and you want it, you don't want it to be kind of tilted in the vat. And so it's leveled. So when this comes out, there is resin on top and I forgot, you kind of have to scoop it out of the way. And so when I took it out initially, some of the resin dripped on the front of the machine. Oh and I used IPA to wipe it off and it did discolor it. And I reached out to Hay Gears and I let them know, hey, this happened. And they said, for anything resin, like that drips on the front of the machine, just use a cloth to wipe it up. Don't use isopropyl alcohol. You can use water, paper towel, that should take care of it. And then your machine won't look like mine. Next up is this model, which is actually fit for the season coming up. This is the Jack Skellington House by Harper Craft Hall over on Thangs and it prints in these three parts. You've got the gate with the, the kitty cats and the stairs and the top, and then you've got the actual house, which fits in there really, really nicely. And then you got the smokestack in case you gotta cook yourself a, a turkey or something. That is fantastic. It came out incredibly well. Again, I took it off the build plate in the three parts. This one, 
I was able to put them in the hula washer and they, they work just great and it did its little, its little motion. It's so addictive to watch. And then once it was done, I removed the supports. Sometimes you can remove supports before it goes in there, but I like to get all of the resin off the supports in the washer and it works out really well. So supports were removed and then it was placed like this in the curing oven, brought it out and it looks like this. One of the things though we do have to do is I've, I've got some super glue and some activator here. I think it's only appropriate that we actually make this house a permanent structure. Go. That's probably too much. But there we go. That's not going anywhere. And then I will put a little bit in there and I'll spray the end right there. There you go. It looks like that. Ah, oh, this is a cool model. It looks fantastic. Look at it. Oh, it's so cool. It's so, so cool. On things, it is labeled as multi, oh, here. I'm looking at the model right here on things. That's, that's what I'm looking at. And it's labeled as Jack Skellington's house multicolor. Now, it's just resin. It's a single color. The details are immaculate from the Reflex RS, but I don't know. Should I paint this? That's what I want to know. Should I paint this? Or should I find someone who's actually good at painting things and get it to them? Let me know in the comments below. There's two resins I have here on the desk and this one is ash gray. Ash gray, it's P-A-W-W-10 ash gray. Uh, they have certain names for their resins. So ash gray, P-A-W-10. This is the one I printed Jack Skellington's house and the X-Wing in. It is water washable if you want, which is kind of cool. Next up though, I drained everything and I put in this P-A-R-P-10 resin, which is a pale purple, very pale purple, but really, really cool. And with this one, what's really cool is they had the profiles ready for the pulse releasing module. This is still pretty brand new, so they're getting everything together. They're getting all their ducks in a row before release. And so it was printing quite fast, but also it showcased this really cool thing that this machine now does. This machine will monitor the force it takes to peel away from the NFEP sheet. And it presents it as a graph on the front as it's doing it and you get to see it. And so when I printed the X-Wing and I printed Jack Skellington's house, you could tell there was this graph doing this because of the forces needed to pull it away from the NFEP sheet. And then I put in this resin and I used the pulsing release module and it was far, far less. It was really cool to actually see the data saying that that decreases the peel force in order to get the model up. So that was really cool. Awesome. But you want to see what I made. This is the Elder Wolf bust over on Thangs by user 3D Printing Realms. And it is spectacular. The, the details are there. I, I, I love what this 10.3 inch 8K mono LCD can do because it lets us get lots of really great detail on larger pieces that have the detail. It's not like purple. It's a pale purple. It's a pale purple. Oh, that's detailed. That looks so good. That looks so good. Hello, Wolfie. Hello, Joe. The Ultra Craft Reflex RS from Hay Gears looks to be about $9.99 retail price, but when it first comes out, there's going to be a pre-sale and you'll be able to get it for $7.99. I think that's a decent deal considering that Hay Gears has themselves an ecosystem around this machine. You have got machine, you've got materials, and you have Blueprint, their software, which they continually are adding features to. And it was really easy to use for all of this. Plus within Blueprint, once you have a slice file available, you can send the details of that to the wash unit, to the cure unit. So it presets those for proper washing and proper curing time. It's a really good system. I, I like it. I like it. Well, now I've got these three. I've had this machine about a week and this is what I was able to do, but now I wanna do more with it. I wanna print more things. I wanna, I wanna play with that force meter. I, I, I wanna do more Star Wars things. What would you like to see printed on this machine? Let me know down in the comments below and who knows, maybe I'll get to do it. Well, and just like that, we close the lid 
and we're done for the day. Thanks for watching. If you made this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more and fight for a cause you believe in. Resin print all the things. And as always, high five.